I have four books coming out this year, and the next book that's coming out is Oceanborn from Harlequin Teen. It's the sequel to Waterfowl, which came out last year. It's about an undersea ocean princess who doesn't want to be queen and decides that she has to, in the end, fight for her people and, you know, kind of retake her throne from the big bad. Oh, cool. So, my take on mermaids kind of went with like... Yeah, I was just going to say, it sounds a little like mermaid inspired. I wanted to do something different, so think underwater dragons, like really beautiful, just big, like an alien species, so mm -hmm. that's where I went with that. Oh, cool. Now, how, how do you have five, are you six? Yeah, so six books. How, how does that work? Did you write all of them sim simultaneously or? You know, I'm, I'm very lucky in that I'm a, also, I'm a fast reader and I'm also a fast writer. So a draft of a book usually takes me two to three months. Okay. So, you know, I get the ideas, I jot them down and then, you know, I try to flesh them out, see if they have the legs for a story and then that's how it goes. So I'll have six books out by November of this wow. year. So for this year. Yeah. Wow. When did your first published book come out? My first published book was in 2011. It was Bloodspell okay. about a witch and a vampire, you know, back when that craze was the thing. Yeah, yeah. All romance, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Do you, um, what is it about the YA genre that, that you like the most and that makes you stick with that? Or, and do you ever consider branching out at all in the future? Um, I think I would like to branch out in the future mm -hmm. just because there's such a huge crossover market for, you know, right. adults who read YA. Yeah, I, um, I read YA. Right, and same. That's the only thing I read. My book club forces me to read grown-up books, which I do. <laughs> um, but, you know, in terms of writing YA, I just like the intensity of that age. I like that everything is all or nothing. I like that everything, it's a time of first, it's a discovery. Right. Um, it's also a way for me to revisit, sort of revisit past choices and reinvent myself. And I like that. I like doing that. So I love writing YA. Oh, cool. And did you always want to be a writer? Have you had other careers? You know, I think I've always wanted to be a writer. I was published at 12. Um, I had poetry oh, wow. published and uh, I won a Commonwealth writing competition when I was 15. And then oh, okay. when I went to college, I kind of just got, you know, I, I took a different route and because I wanted to make money and travel, which right. I did, and then sort of came back to writing um, about five, six years ago. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, my mom was very happy. Yeah. She's yeah. like, sales is not for you. Right. Go back and write. Oh, you worked in sales? <laughs> I worked uh, for British Telecom, so I was uh, mm -hmm. in um, you know, telecommunications and I managed global mm -hmm. relationships, so I did travel a lot. Oh, okay. Which is awesome because it does, yeah, it helps me sort of create worlds for my characters and have experiences with different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that's always like a bonus. Cool. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks so much. I can't wait to read your books. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Thanks.